How do we get 7 billion people to connect with one another on an emotional level? I want you to keep this question in mind as I will come back to it later in the speech. As humans, it is a biological need to be able to interact with one another. And through these connections, we become more open-minded and knowledgeable. We have the capacity to learn new languages, the opportunity to try new foods, and the ability to express in the ability to experience new environments all through the power connection. The problem is we are not taking full advantage of these opportunities as a species, and this is mainly due to long-held prejudices and its, and its main problem, a lack of empathy. I feel that recently, recently we have seen a decrease in the amount of appreciation for each other and our differences. There is a lot of prejudice all around the world. Every day, People, every day, people are being judged for reasons of race, religion, gender, love, and nationality, just to name a few. It's important for us to discuss this issue because prejudice in these many forms has the ability to affect many different types of people. And that is time that some action needs to be taken to correct this situation. I believe that empathy is what we need to solve this problem. Empathy is the capacity to understand or feel what another person is experiencing from within the other person's frame of reference. Let me repeat that for you. Empathy is the capacity to understand or feel what another person is experiencing from within the other per person's frame of reference. What does that mean exactly? Well, it's the ability to place yourself in someone else's position. Let me tell you a story about two classmates of mine. Let's call them Clark Kent and Diana Patrick. One day, uh, Dana was pushed into the pool because of Clark, and her foot got cold, got cut open. A few minutes later, Clark confessed to me that he felt really bad for pushing Dana into the water. When I was deciding what I could say to make Clark feel better, I actually experienced the same sadness and regret that he had felt, even though I wasn't in the exact same situation that he was in. That connection is what I feel that we need to develop, and we're going to end the problem of prejudice. Empathy is important because it can make you a more understanding person and improve your relationships and can create human bonds. George Orwell, a famous novelist who wrote the book 1984, was from a very privileged background. Until one day, he started noticing the people around him that were disadvantaged. So he therefore decided to do an experiment in which he went around East London and Paris and lived among the poorest of people. He did this from the late 1920s to the early 1930s. He would go out, sometimes a few days at a time, other times an entire week. After the experiment, he was forever changed. He had literally placed himself in someone else's position and experienced life through their perspective. As a result, he became a more compassionate person, had more charge towards strangers, and even developed new friendships. He actually wrote a book about it called Down and Out in Paris and London. We don't have to do the exact same thing that George Orwell did, but we can, from time to time, take a minute and try to meet and understand new people. You'd be surprised to find that you may have more in common than you thought. In the second half of grade five, I was, and I was a little awkward when it came to meeting new people. So in the second half of grade five, there was a, there, the teacher told us there was going to be a new person in our class, a girl. So when I found out about this, I was kind of interested in who this person would be. So let's call this girl, uh, Beyonce? <laughs> so the day that Beyonce came to class, it was kind of awkward for everyone else as well. A few days later, I had to do a project with some of my classmates, and Beyonce happened to be one of them. When we were working together, I found out that we had a lot in common. We both liked to be silly and make jokes, even though she was from a different country. To this day, she's still one of my best friends. These type of empathic experiments are what makes us human. Another thing that's helping spread this, spread empathy is social media. Think of all the different places that you can go online to find like-minded individuals. It can make us feel as if we're part of an extended family for many different types of people. In, places, in websites such as Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, you can go to these websites and follow people that inspire you. And you can too, send information around the world and inspire people too. Prejudice is a major problem that has many diverse ways to negatively impact society. 
every day we prejudge each other by gender, race, and religion, and uh, gender, race, and religion, and other forms of prejudice have been going on for a while now, and it, it, it still exists to this day. It's important for us to understand this issue because prejudice in many forms has the ability to affect many different types of people. We all have to start to wake up and look at this world and the problems that are going on. We have to know what's going on in our communities and send a message all around the world that everyone should be treated fairly. We need people to discuss these issues and to confront them, to not be afraid to have difficult conversations with people that they might not know very well or understand. Empathy should be something of the past. And the only way to make sure that it does, we have to make a commitment to it. Remember the question that I had at the beginning of the speech? How did we get seven billion people to connect with one another, one another on an emotional level? Well, do you, have any do, you have any, do you have any suggestions that can inspire people? I have said some ideas, it is, I have said some suggestions in the speech. And maybe you have something to add with it. I like to say, that all of us has the ability to use that idea to change the world. I hope that we can get this world to wake up. It has been asleep for too long. Thank you, everyone.